Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm Mr. Rob, aka Star Shadow. We're continuing the San Marino Challenge here, or at least our version of it. Uh, San Marino Challenge is to take the tiny microstate of San Marino, all the way from the foot of the FIFA rankings to the top. Very top, number one. I mean, better than Brazil, better than Germany, better than any of those teams, France, England, whoever you can pick out, we gotta be better than them. Let's get that national team better than them. Uh, simultaneously, we also have to be taking a team based in San Marino, a club based in San Marino, all the way to Champions League glory. And that is the part that we're actually making decent progress on. We've taken over a club uh, based in San Marino that uh, is in the Italian pyramid, which is why we're in Serie A now. Uh, this club in real life uh, went defunct and folded in 2019, I believe it was. And so in this world, have a ton of money. We bought it. We pumped all kinds of money into it uh, to see if the San Marino challenge is even possible. Like club wise, I think it kind of is, but nation wise is where we're going to see. Um, we've pumped out three great youth intakes. Uh, the last one was not as great. Uh, so uh, we do have a start to uh, a decent San Marino team. But uh, we'll see how that goes. It's still early, five seasons in. So the first crop of youth is actually um, still growing. Take a, oops, Jesus. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the first crop of youth is kind of just growing here. So we have, for instance, uh, uh, Senator Mancini who for some reason has switched over to Italian, even though he is got like 12 San Marinese caps. I don't understand that. Uh, but yes, he is quite good. Pretty good. Uh, Mirko Aluigi here. Another one of our youth intakes here, only 17. Pretty solid here. Uh, Colo Molandini is there. One of our best from our second youth intake. Uh, he was always Italian. He's not Sam Marinese. Oh, we also have, let's see, who else? Oh, uh, Galtieri, the Galtieri cousins here. Uh, down the right, and we have a play striker. Uh, and his cousin in the center of midfield. A couple solid, solid players there. And we have more coming. Uh, Chetty is actually Sam Marinese too. Uh, he must not have been called up yet. Uh, my nanny, another one. All youth intake. And we of course got more coming. Uh, uh, Machiochi here. Could be good. It's only 16. Pushing, trying to push for a call up. Uh, but players like that, we have some good midfielders coming too. And uh, Liverani here. And uh, Bugli. Where are you? Oh, and also Sheena here. Pretty solid. Where is Bugley? He's our passer. There he is. He's injured. So, you know, there's all there's talent here. Uh, and there's also a couple of San Marinese players out there and other teams. Uh, Roma has one. Spezia has one. Uh, so there are definitely some youth that is developing. Uh, so for people following along, we've uh, spent some money in order to improve our team and at this point trying to bring in uh, U21s and improving the team is expensive. So we brought in uh, Joseph Uchukwu here, a uh, versatile midi, can play defensive midfield and also play uh, as a center back. Right now his marking is a little bit low for me to play him there, but uh, you'll see the theme of it is you know, we got to have some players that are versatile. So he's versatile. We've also brought in Mario Medina, uh, from one of the relegated teams last year. So he got bottom of the summer. Pretty good too. Pretty good. Uh, Ronald uh, Ferrofino here is someone we've been tracking for a long time finally got him he's not quite good enough maybe i don't know we'll see 
you can see from the personalities too, we're finally deciding to uh, work on personalities as well. So, uh, and uh, Juan Carlos Gutierrez we brought in to play on the right. Can also play in the center uh, defense. We brought him in because we weren't sure Lu how Luigi would uh, resign with us. He was fickle. We got him up to ambitious though, so that's a positive. Uh, those are the three main ones here that we brought in. We brought in a couple extra other guys that we're excited to have. Uh, one being... Uh, Guillermo Modesti. Another uh, young defensive midfielder. May not make the first team, but he's pretty solid. Looking to have him step in next year or we end up selling someone and also injured uh Tommy Forsman uh Finn pretty good too defensive midfielder can also play on the left uh, and wing back position if we need to uh so versatility is key for us all fairly expensive all uh versatile too good personalities so we are getting stuff going here liking it we're on training camp our first ever training camp in the Piedmont uh, we have uh, an interesting set of friendlies coming up here weak team just random team uh, Pro Berselli here actually is uh, one of the promoted teams into Serie B we handled them so we got Torino uh, Padova and like a C and Liga Pro Garone or Serie C Got an interesting friendly here against yes, Tunis, a uh, top team from North Africa. So that, that'll be interesting. Always wanted to play someone a little bit different. So African team coming in, it's going to be cool. Another lower league side here, the Challenger, it's the fifth division. And Genoa, who came up with us. Uh, Liano here in Serie D. Then we'll have Milan, and then we'll play <laughs> Seven <an> essay again <laughs> before we get into the season itself. So we have a nice bait of friendlies here we'll see how we're doing then so we got torino today uh so let's see if we can get into it and see how it looks so we have uh, a couple players out Revenati, uh i wanted to be in uh, an important player actually but regular might be all we can get he's not great but he's Sam Ernest. We need to get him time because he's probably someone who needs to be in the national team. So I guess we'll take this one. All right, what do we got for Farsman here? Regular starter, regular starter, regular starter. Uh, not sure about that. Like a Pro C, Ernst. Uh, Cartone wants to play him. Let's see what we got here. He can play against us if we do that. Squad player, though. I don't like squad player. I don't think that's enough for us, though. Let's see. Our B team is now in Serie D. And our C side is in the Echelenta, so they're in the 4th and 5th divisions right now. I don't mind sending him there, but I don't want him to be just a squad player. He's the play play. But otherwise, he that does no good. Because we can play him in our B side if that's the case. Okay, so even if he wouldn't be able to play against his own team, okay, perfect. Apparently we promised that we loan him out. I don't remember that, but apparently uh, that happened. He's coming off a bad injury. He had a torn thigh muscle when we bought him, so he's just recovering from that. So. 
lots of moves going in, coming in. We have all this. We have 64 million to play with, so we spent 30, almost 40,000, 40 million of it. I mean, uh, bringing in these players, but they are improving the team and have lots of potential. So we are very happy with what we're seeing here. But to look and see who this guy is. Uh, I love that jump and reach. Hmm. He's Serie B, isn't he? Yep. I mean, then again, like all my players are Serie B level, but they're good Serie B level. Even the scouts kind of are lying about some of the stuff, I think. All right. So he's not ready. We knew that. Okay. Uh, make sure everyone's here. We had some injuries. Olandi, who is one of our youth intakes. He was an Italian the whole time. Got injured, so keep an eye on him. Uh, who did we lose out to? to, 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 to. We're missing Riva right now. He got injured. And our first friendly there. Brought him, brought him in in the winter of last season. Uh, how far is he out? I want to see. Six to twelve days. Okay. So we pulled him out of training camp. I just want to make sure. All right, Captain is not playing. Okay. Just making sure we have everyone that we want. So we're going to send out what is pretty much the A team. Yeah, I think this is going to be, I mean, we'll be switching back and forth a little bit between what we have and what we're going to play. So, uh, save before the match because if something happens during the match, you can just restart it. Sometimes, uh, I've had a crash or two that's happened. Just weird stuff. So I'd like to save it, especially since it takes forever. Oh, uh, one thing I do want to do before we do that is to show what I have running here. So you can see we have every league or every nation, every, every nation here has a playable league in it. At least every top division at least is playable. Uh, some of these are not so here we go so these are the oh, that's viable isn't it yeah yeah i thought it was just them and down yeah so it's usually just top division and this is the big one here is that we have all the way into the into the fifth division and italian pyramid as it goes down spreads out it's crazy so Angelanta has like 20 leagues in it, something like that. It's ridiculous. So uh, this here is a huge amount of leagues. And then like I said, we got top to, at least the top division in every league. And in some cases we have a little bit more, like I believe in England, there's, I don't remember which one I, I went to with the playable. I might've went down to league two. That's right, that's right. Definitely. Uh, I think there's a top division here. And I'm pretty sure top two here. So we have a ton of leagues running. Uh, Proximate player count is almost 300,000. Uh, that's getting close to three times the limit there, but that's fine. So that's so when we say the, that the uh, game is running slow, that's why. Because we have, I think, it's got to be something in the neighborhood of 50 to 60 leagues running. So, that's why it runs slow. Probably adjust at some point to get a few more things into view only. Especially now that we're in the top division. But we'll see. Alright, so. It's our top tactic and top team here. 
So let us get into it a little bit. Let's see how they run against a top division team. A team that actually will probably beat can probably beat us. Almost certainly. Alright. Press press. Yeah, we got three of a lot out there. We'll see how our center backs deal with this. Uh, definitely an elite striker. That's going to be fun. Like, this is a good team, but uh, like, like he's not that much better than what we got. He's not better than what we got. He's young, so they're not throwing out their first team, it looks like. Some some players, but not everyone. He's good though. Cause like otherwise this you know, they have a few super elite players, but for the most part that team did not scare me, but there's there's more here. Look at that. Wow. He's good. I would love to have him on my team. Solid. Alright. Alright, so let's see if we get. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. Got nothing to lose here, so show them how good you are, y'all. Let's see what we get. So, like, their top end talent is way better than us. But they don't outclass us by that much. Other than that. Which is why I think that we have every chance of staying up. I think we should stay up comfortably. We may not be getting even out of the lower mid table, but uh that's good enough. It's gotta stay up and to consolidate. Like, I think we're definitely better than the teams that we came up with. I mean, obviously we're better than them because we won the, uh, the league last year, won Serie B. So we're definitely better than those two teams that came up with us. Uh, then we have to be better than one one other team, and I think we can be. I don't, I'm not too scared of, like, the bottom uh, clubs of Serie A, Tone, uh, who else is down there? Sassuolo. I don't think they're anything to be frightened of. Who else is down there? So a few teams like that are just like, you know, solid teams that, but teams that we shouldn't be afraid of. Juventus, AC Milan, Inter Milan. Oh, yeah, them. Yeah, though they they can put a weapon on us, but even like the teams in the middle here, like Torino, uh, Udinese, like I think we can give a good account of ourselves against them and hold them. If not, even pull off a couple of uh, nice wins there. So that's what I'm thinking. I mean, even, I mean, this is obviously not their first team, but against our first team here, we're, we're definitely the better team right now. Again, it, we're not facing their, all their first teamers, but we are definitely not facing like a bunch of scrubs.
Let's go, guys. Come on. Like to get a get a goal before for half. This is gonna be fun though. The best, our best offense is off the counter. So especially with a bunch of teams that are better than us, we'll sit back a touch and be able to spring attacks like that. Yeah, I think that's that's gonna help us too. Of course, we have one tiny little issue. One tiny little issue in that Monaldini does not want to stay in contact with you this last year. Say we don't, we're not good enough to fulfill his ambitions. We're going to be good enough. We're going to be good enough, man. Okay, yeah, we're... Yeah, injury's affecting you. You're not staying that. So I, I, I think our last buy... I think we're going to have to buy Striker. We're not going to be able to fight anyone anywhere near as good as him, though, because he's really good. That's the only problem. Because at this point, like, like I was saying earlier, in order to improve our team uh, even a little bit with the players that are available to us at the ages that we are restricting ourselves to, which is U21s, uh, it's expensive. And reputation-wise, uh, a lot of them don't want to come to us. So if we can like creep up each time, but having a star player like Monaldini uh, would be huge for us, which is why I'm not sure I want to try and sell him yet. I'm trying to hope that we can convince him to sign a contract, but I don't know. It's going to be a risk. Because here's our backup right now, Victor Michelle, who's scored goals at every level so far. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be good enough here, but we're going to see. We're going to find out right now. Otherwise, we're going to be throwing in, let's see, Gautieri. Kind of got the profile I'm looking for, playing on the counter, but his finishing sucks. Of course, he's been playing wing back a lot, so he hasn't been working on his finishing. Uh, Mancini here was a striker when he came in, but... That finishing has been terrible, so we we're like not even gonna try. So we converted him. He's been great where he is. All right, let's see what, how Victor Michelle deals with this. That will tell me everything I need to know. That will tell me everything I need to know. How much I need to buy a striker? Ah. Uh. Come on, Asani. This you should not be being getting beaten here. He's not gonna out jump you. See now they're sitting back on us a little bit. Interesting. See, that's why you're not a striker. Uh, one thing I got, I really love about the team is there is a ton of talent, even if it is super young. Let's start bringing in some of the backups. I guess Liam Reed is pretty darn good. You're not quite trained for this yet, but need to get used to it a little bit. Do, 
The one thing about it right now is that Mancini is uh, our only wide man who can really attack, although, except we have uh, Galtieri, uh, Nicolo Galtieri, who can attack down the right. We want to play him there. Just dropped in Gutierrez there for a little bit. May switch them down here and bring him in to, to attack a little bit because she doesn't quite have the stamina for it. Too long. There we go. Hey, that's a good ball. Smart ball. Oh, okay. That's usually the kind of penalty we give up. That's kind of weak, I think. Ooh, Coltier is probably taking it. He needs uh, practice. He is our best. the best pen taker on the team right now I think I have to check that again yeah you missed one last season though but that was a good that was a good pen there I imagine we're standard to get a slip a little bit because the quality has gone down a touch but we shall see Oh, look at that. Just rolled that one in the corner. That was nice. That was nice. Nice ball. Oh, I, I got, you know what I didn't do? I didn't switch my tactic for this. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Because Soda is not good. Attacker. And when we do that, that means we swap sides here. I don't want to mess with the set pieces. Now we play down the right. Uh, not pleased with that. Not pleased when the center backs came with a ball in the air. But this is not a the three center backs I would be having in uh, all at once. <laughs> that would be something really bad would have to happen in order for for that lineup of center backs to be in. Wow, Shinton certainly made that look like it wasn't going anywhere close. But my God. That's good composure there. <laughs> I 
like this group of reserves would be probably a mid table Serie B side. So it's not like there's no talent here. But yeah, it's not a bunch of players I would uh, be comfortable throwing out there and like against like a Juventus or a Roma. But you know, sprinkling them in is gonna happen. Like Medina, good enough. The Hain have a trust. Uh, those, yeah, those are the two main ones I have a trust. This match is gonna get time. It's pretty good. He may leave. We'll see. Cause I'm working on a Portuguese left wing back, who is not quite as good, but definitely has more room to grow. Y'all did get proud of y'all. Play like that during the season, we could be really interesting. Could be really interesting. I mean, every year we've out outperformed what I thought we would do by quite a bit. So uh, this will be very interesting. Three to four days, good. Okay. Padova, yeah, we don't need you for that. What that does mean is we will probably bring in our Garcia, yeah. He's got talents. Yes, he does. He says I haven't put it together yet. Everyone's unhappy because of the preseason training. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes, y'all. We're in preseason. I gotta get you guys going. It was funny because the first day back, they were already complaining about training, which was really weird. It's like, they're like, I want to do more technical training. I'm like, it's the first day of training, preseason, and you're already complaining about not doing anything? We got to get you into shape before we can do any of that stuff. Pretty darn ridiculous. And of course, like half the team is mad that they didn't get to come on the uh, preseason tour because it could only take 30. Uh, but they'll get over it. Sorry, y'all. Just not quite good enough <laughs> yet. This is going to be weird for me because I'm not used to having a small squad to work with. Used to having the whole uh, whole club apparatus available uh, in case someone kicks off in their training and all of a sudden is ready for a first team. Uh, which happens sometimes. They, some of these young players just all of a sudden, it clicks for them and then they are all about playing. So... Not gonna have the have that unless uh unless we have some players leave or something. I don't know. We'll see. So we killed them. We really outperformed them. They scored. Well, I won. I thought they could be a little bit higher on that, but that's fine. Oh well, yeah, he's not gonna go to any y'all. Uh, Thank you. Or yeah, Spetsy is the only Serie B team that will give him the time. Restetto is pro. Sienna is in Lega Pro. Cerno is in Lega Pro. So yeah. I had to send him there though. Kind of sucks. I want to send him to Spezia. Obviously, he probably wouldn't want to come on a transfer to me. Uh, Dini, are you any good? You have potential. No. Alright. Yachi. When it's here, that means no, no potential. 
right? Yeah, it's low. I mean, still, like a pro, that's not bad potential. But, yeah, that's not going to get into our first team anymore. Set on low. Could possibly see that. Vandenberg, he was someone I was looking at too. He would have came to us. At A level. But, uh... I looked at his potential and I was like, ah, he's not probably gonna improve enough for me to want to drop that money on him because he went for 20.5 and he's good but I think he'd get passed by the end of the season I didn't think it was a good deal uh yeah I've been trying Yeah, see here? Promise to be fulfilled. I don't know why you're complaining. Everyone gotta complain about something, huh? Gotta complain, gotta complain, gotta complain. Complain. Just complaining. Stop complaining. Don't need you to complain. Let's do y'all jobs. Up with the C squad here. All right, so like a pro, should be able to, to give them a bit of open. Let's see how they're throwing at us now. Uh, Nineteen. Look at them. You're not good. Sorry. Echo the V. Israel. What do we got here? Tacky Midi. Got some nice flair. Good decisions. Teamwork work. What's your personality? Resolute. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Does look like a Serie B or a Serie A player to you? potential 18 ah well you're judging is only 11 so let's just say he may show up on our team may have to look at him Costa Rica <laughs> dueled uh, no good He's 17. What's your... Oh, he's casual. Nope. Casual is terrible. He is not going to develop at all. Balance isn't bad. Midfielder? Not terrible. Could do some work. Vision sucks. But... Kind of... Yeah, kind of a Mets. Someone to keep an eye on. Uh, no. Yeah, so I do. Let's see what we have here. We have a couple short lists here. Uh, the alumni one is our players that played for our team that we want to keep an eye on. Uh,. So we have just five in here right now. Uh, actually, we have a couple more. There we go. Sandoval is one I wish that we could have back a little bit, but uh, he really wanted to leave anyway, and he's not that's quite as good, but he was, he'd be a good target man. Uh, that's a story I would have loved to keep too. Georgian. I think that's just interesting nationality developing a bit. 
I think he, he probably would have been, he probably would have developed more with us and uh, maybe you've been ready to play this year. Still in the same Doria for a million. Uh, this, this is a great bit of deal for us and Bonfiglio here who we signed on a free. Uh, he played just like a couple matches. He didn't correct the first team. We sold him for like 200,000. Plus a sell on. That was nice. So we're just kind of keeping an eye on some of these players. So you see the Firmino. See, these are like the strong scouting department here. They really helped us. Alex Hagi was good too. I liked him. He'd probably be starting. We could have kept him. Then we also have a short list for uh, youth products that left. See, the ones that have left are currently have been terrible. So no harm done there. But yeah, so then we have like some targets that we can look at. This is a guy we might go after here, Highland. <laughs> Irish. Play the left left side for us a bit. I really wanted to bring this guy in, a dear S for a wants to move to a bigger club. Unfortunately, that bigger club is, won't be us because he thinks we're not big enough, even though he's in the Brazilian Serie B. Uh, but yeah, he's a, being a little, little rough on us here. Uh, so this is the other left, uh, left fullback, left wing back that we're looking at. Uh, he'd be the backup, so he would take Schmetzer's spot. Not quite uh, as good, but uh, mentally he's almost as good. And he's just not quite technically as good. Uh, he's a bit more athletic, better tackling. So, I mean, I think he could do the job. He would definitely, his potential is a lot better. So if we want to bring him in instead, he'll develop and we'd be happy. Why are you on the default? I don't remember why you would be there. You wouldn't be there. I have to, I have to go through this again. All right. Anyway, I think going. I'll see if we can get to Padova. I'm really excited about this match here against Tunis. Is Tunis? Not often you get a chance to play against. A non-European team when you're in Europe so I'm really excited to play something somewhat a little bit different Elven Bard I wanted to see something Roma players Roma have Hey, I'm very interested in. He is not on the first team. Right here, Andreas Scotty. Sam Marinese, center back. He's the best center back in the pool by far. So I've been thinking maybe we should bring him in so that he develops. Unfortunately, I'm not just kind of run out of time here. And now he's just not good enough to be in the first team. So yeah, it's just a big big problem for us uh, so one of our center backs is in now uh, on loan in the Turkish top division he was kind of on the edge here of of making it so we sent him out there to get some experience so I'm hoping he comes back and he's ready to step in because good potential uh, got a good base here so Alright, so this is our travel day back. Alright. Uh, this is the other side here. Da, 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 da. I get match reviews in. I think the only day that we have time to do anything so let's do a little let's 
get some extra work in. Just took the uh, trash outside before I started streaming, and we're in the middle of cicada season. It's crazy, so now I'm all just itchy from just thinking about them. Cicadas everywhere. It's the middle of the night, and still. I almost brought one in with me. It was on my shoe. Didn't even notice it until I came in and looked down. I was like, what the? So now, you know, you get a little, a little in your head about stuff like, ooh. You can just feel something curling on you a little bit sometimes. That's, so I'm getting all a little, a little jumpy energy here. Ah, fun second did not want to sign with me. Oh, he would rather go to... They're not going to give you anything. We will go up to the, the Irish guy then. Regular starter. Okay, he wasn't going to be a regular starter with us. Uh, sure the follow there. Uh, you're wrong. How do you... Ah. Terrible sometimes with my pronunciations. But yeah, as I was looking at this guy, I thought he'd come in. So, but yeah, we'll look at the Irish guy, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone wants to do the tie vibe. Good. It's physical time. You guys got to get in shape before we can do all the fun stuff. <sighs> People. People. Wait, what do you guys think we need? What do y'all need? What do we need? Target man? Hmm. Maybe. Can I say another central defender? Maybe. I see a uh, third forward and see what you have for on the left. So yeah, we're mostly potential right now. A uh, 20 year old here, Josemar. Oh, we guys got him. What's your personality driven? Like that. Like the athleticism. Not bad here. Battle's not quite there. Let's got him. Just a Mario. Okay. Balanced. Not bad. Look at this work rate and teamwork. We love those kind of things. Good athleticism. Mentals aren't bad. Technically not bad for a defender. Maybe. Oh, look, you can play in midfield too. I really like that. Alright. Uh. Yorini, he's not a target man. That's not a target man at all. Ja ja. It's not a target man. Alright, Roko Simic. Simic. That's probably what it is. Okay, that's more what we're talking about. Good strength, jumping reach, kind of finish. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. 20 years old, listed for loan. We don't loan, we buy. I will look at you. All right, interesting midfielder. All right. Eric Gutierrez, you got the potential. You're 17, okay. So you're not good yet, but potential. Eh. Eh. De Louise. You're also on the left. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You are left footed, okay. Hmm. Nice. Okay. 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 
way to think about this tune. That's not bad. Andre Vilela. Defensive midfielder? You know, got some versatility here. Not great though. Oh, not great. But not terribly. Taking fullback. Jonathan Neva. You're on the right. Scout loves you. But the right side is, is okay right now. Promising goalkeeper. That's promising. 19. You know, 16. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. That is said 19. It's like, whoa. Mm. Actually, I think we're about to bring in a goalkeeper who's uh, 16 also and is even better. All right. So I'll let y'all know what else I wanted. All right. Perfect. Yeah, we are. We've been wheeling and dealing. We had, I don't know, 10 players leave. Brought in another 10 players. A lot of cheap players, really. But then, like I said, we spent 30, around 30 million on, on a few players. So, you know, wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing. We are certainly limited by our reputation. It sucks, but what can you do about it except win? And we've been winning. We've been winning a lot. Hey, okay, good. Go get some playing time, my man. Here. One of those that may be important for the national team. Almost time to look into taking over the national team. All right, well, Rama Kante, Malian, potential. Got potential. Definitely not ready yet. So we'll send him down to Regina, who's in Serie B. Uh, should get a lot of playing time. He's as an important player. Perfect. So. Uh, definitely compile for him, except you too. You get some time as well. Vander Betzeger Mendez. Wow, what a name. I bought him because he's a Salta man. That's uh, pretty much the main reason. And he had potential. So I was like, yeah. Obviously, uh, his second uh, uh, nationality is Portuguese. But I was like, Salto man, oh yeah. I like it when they come from smaller countries like what we're we're doing. That's the best. That is the best. Hundred percent the best. I need to get some more friendlies in for the, the B side, the B club. C club's got a ton already in. All right. Here, all rough. I feel like New gens are tend to be a lot more versatile than players already in the, the match engine mercenary. Not bad, but Ugh. and you're 22, so you are no longer interesting to us. I oh, guess playing a lower league side, but Dova, are they in Lega Pro? Yeah. Yes, they are. Alright, 
the one thing I wanted to check real quick. Actually, you can play in the middle too. That's pretty good for for, for everything. 1.1 to 1.6. It's not bad. Play defensive midfield too. Be a halfback. Which I like. I love me some halfbacks. Playing the halfback with the three center backs. Weird, but it works. He does what I want him to do. We might have to look into this. This might be the guy we gotta bring in. Play soda. Alright, so we can take you up the default list. Uh, these are our targets. Like actual targets. Actual transfer targets. Potential is just for one for keeping an eye on. And ones that we like we want, we want, we want. Want, 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 want. Take my money. Kind of players. Go there. Like Dearest Fora. They took our money. Players just didn't want to take our money. I don't like that. Yeah, this is the this is the guy we brought in, the younger guy, 17. Fairly determined. Great. Look at his handling. 16 handling already. 15 reflexes at 17. My god. Definitely needs work here though. Uh, wait. We'll take a look at that later. Okay. Uh We definitely want to play the backups in this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I thought we're missing a center back now because Kante was up here with us and now we're missing one. And I don't think we have one to put there. All right, I guess, uh, Goodyear's are once again playing center back. Yeah, why well, I brought you in. I brought you in the back up here, but I like the fact that you can play it there. Yeah, it's like the full backup team. I mean, we could even go even even deeper into the bench. We have uh, Machiochi to bring in on the right. Could just spend another year in the B squad. Joe Cruz is the backup. The defensive midi. You too. Yeah, you signed that contract a long time ago. You're no longer a regular starter. Sorry, Ruggiero. Our club captain, Pietro Paschini. Aldini's yeah. out. It's okay, so. Simone Felice. I guess Felice. Target man. We've been having uh, some luck here with the turning, attacking uh, center minis with good jumping into target men here. So like Dahlquist here, same kind of thing. So you take him in for center, so. Uh, 
much of for a reason. Because uh, I can then give you a chance to play in the center of midfield. Uh, Saw for all y'all don't know, um, listen to the Pizzle Pack from T Pain. Uh, free copyright, free music. Something a little bit different. A lot of people use stream beats. Want to try something a little bit different? So definitely go check that out. Good stuff. Good hip hop beats. Uh, I do find that uh, it's fine for YouTube. But there's one song that I've had trouble with like a sample at the very beginning that gets muted on YouTube, but everything else has been fine. Now nah, you've got thigh strain. Ugh. Three to four weeks, jeez. center backs today. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. It go too cool. I'll have a shot at it. Oh, it's almost time too for, for international friendlies coming, which means we could be losing a bunch of our team. It's always the most fun part of the year. The most fun part of the year. Ended here, but at the, I wanna see how these backups play in some extended time. Yeah. Scouting me, ah. yeah. take a quick look at these uh, updates here. Wait, well, good, good, good. All right. Team. We're scouting him. It's not bad. I'm seeing fullback. Okay. Scouted. Scouted. You are youth product. You say you have no potential, but. You're not bad as it is. That's really strange. The 2020 scout too. Sometimes you just can't trust your scouts. Got a couple wonder kids on my list that they would never come right now. Not even a wonder kid doesn't want to come. at him quick instead of like really looking at him. Yeah. 
You're one I've scouted and looked at. You're 21. You're on the left. You would want to start. You're not going to start a Romancini. You're too old. Uh, Burton, you, whoa, you actually would have signed for us? I thought you were a winner, kid. Interesting. Very interesting. I would not have guessed that you would sign for us. Footed. Either foot is 17 year old. I want to keep an eye on that. This song's got some base that's coming from up here <laughs> so I keep thinking I'm hearing stuff from upstairs Players call up for international duty. Okay. You've been called. You can't. Why are you getting called up? You look. Look at us. Watch this. Information. Other nationalities. Sam Aranis. 12 caps. 3 goals. He's cap tied. Literally cap tied. It's so weird. Uh, fourth and seventh, fifth and ninth. Uh... These players are gonna miss uh, the one game match. Okay. Uh, I can't. Oh, I won Paul Riva because he is. Recovering from injury. Shetty, see, you have not been capped, so that makes sense. Yeah, you're at under 21 caps, so I can understand you being available for that. Yeah, that's just so weird. I don't know why, how that's even, how that even works. It just doesn't. That, he's cap tied. Played in the Nationals League, the, Na the Nations League, whatever it is. Watch. Senior squad, Nations League. That's what I'm talking about. So last year, Nations League qualifiers. There he is, right there. Euro qualif- these are even Euro qualifiers, even. He's played in a bunch of Euro qualifiers. He's cap-tied. He's literally cap-tied. Ah, oh, look, all the way from 210 up to... Oh, well, now they're 206, but... That is so weird. Uh, is this like some kind of bug or something? I don't have the editor and I think I might have closed off the editing on it anyway. So it's not like I could fix this, but that's, that's so weird. Is, is that a bug or something? I 
Nikki Paolo Rossi, but e twenties. What are they doing? e twenty elite league. I'll let him go to this one, but if they need him during this season, then we will have to pull him back for that. So weird. Alright, Molodini's not going to get a shot this one. Okay. Da -da -da. So we should be good with what we got. So let's play this match. It should be a quick one because... Yeah, because even my backup should be way better than these guys. Even the backup should be better. Matches. Team selection. Alright, so we got a flop here because Schmitzer's not offensively gifted. Agaltieri is. Flop. Played on the right. And. Flop you. Hugo Chukwu will not be playing center back regularly because his marking kind of sucks. That's why he's been playing. And I bought him as a defensive midfielder, so. It's not like I got some kind of surprise here. Pressing, press, press. I mean, we could just go onto a full press at this point if we really wanted to. So this is, we're at our training camp, so we're playing, where are we playing? Are we playing in, uh, Sun Zero maybe? I didn't even check, honestly. Because we are doing our training camp in, uh, out by Milan. Yeah, Viedmont. Viedmonte, I guess. There's always, oh, look at that little move there. Always fixture congestion in the first couple months of the season, so gotta have depth. Gotta have some depth here. Nice. Medina's pretty athletic too. I like him. That's exactly what I want, is a couple, couple guys in the, in the box. He was offside by a bit. He was offside by a bit there, but that was a good ball. That was a great ball. All right, let's kick it up a little bit here. Oh. All right, that's not what I like to see. Uh, also don't like to see that where no one's taking the ball. We go Chukwu. Can't roll with the ball. I was surprised to go see him get that, but Smetcher was right there, but it's a good ball. Oh, wow, how'd that sneak in? Wow. 
That's a really weak goal there. Can't get beat that easily right there from that angle. I would be pissed if that happened to me. I would be irate. Not gonna lie. I mean, quite frankly, I'm surprised we haven't seen uh, my favorite, our normal uh, goals given up, which is from 25 to 30 yards. I get nervous anytime I see a highlight where that is involved, where they're shooting from 25 or 30 yards, because 50% of the time it seems to be a shot that goes in. I hate it. I hate it. We certainly don't do that. Score a lot of, a lot of our goals on the counter inside the area. Or like that off those crosses. Not to say we haven't scored a few. But not that many. Oh, I got to remember to work on my uh, set pieces a little bit. Change the takers and such. Got some new players. May have some skills. Team is so ingrained in playing down the left that he still played through Schmetzer. Look at that. Garcia is like not that good attribute wise, but he sense he somehow he just scores all the time. It's really, really weird. It's like Victor Michelle's scores all the time too. But literally, o Omar Garcia got three matches for a sincerity being coming off the bench. I think he came off the bench twice and started one. He had three goals. He didn't score in his start, but he scored twice on one sub appearance and once in the other one. So weird. Then a few seasons ago when we were in the Liga Pro C, uh, Victor Michelle had this torrid stretch where he scored 20 goals in nine matches, I think it was. It was something really ridiculous. Ah, it was so ridiculous. I could not believe how, how many goals he was scoring. And we were not promoted that year. That was the hour first season in the third division. Oh man. Good save though. Be right over the top. It's trying to come into this a little bit. Bad turn oh I thought that was gonna be a turnover. Nice work here so far. Nice work so far. I like a place You are. Keep it up. May have to yell at them afterwards to, to get their heads back in the game, but not for right now, I think we'll get the backup some praise. They've played pretty well so far. In front of uh looks like a coronavirus crowd here. Everyone is socially distanced. Really good. Probably have to give uh sixty minutes or if they get a little bit tired quicker then pull them off a little bit sooner, but 60 minutes right now, I think, is where we're going to go. Building up that match fitness right now. All right. Let's get the first wave of subs in. Uh, 
Oh, that's Steve. Medina a little bit longer. Center back is right so far. Come on, uh, I don't see you're like the one of the hardest workers on the team and you didn't run that down. Well, that was a dangerous ball. Uh, that's ambitious. Yeah, it was ambitious. Can attack. Actually, maybe not. Maybe we'll go to our normal formation here. throw on Barry and Diaz for the last little bit. Always a little rough when you're sort of bringing in a bit, bunch of uh, players off the bench. Disrupts the flow. But, you know, preseason we're trying to get match fitness right now more than anything I mean the wins are important for the psyche but you know if you don't win that happens sometimes really it's the match fitness at this point if we were to get blown out by a team I would definitely be saying yeah it's all about the match fitness don't forget about that unless we were losing to like a team like this Padova yeah no I would be yelling we be throwing stuff because that's unacceptable to be beating these teams even in first gear. Shouldn't need to to get out any further. Oh. oh, offside? No way. No way. Oh, no way. If we weren't up 3 nothing. I'd be looking at that again and again and again to make sure he was actually was offside. Pretty weak shot, man. I 
Let's flick beat him. Oh yeah. Oh come on, man! You got score there. How did you not pick anyone out with that? I mean, seriously, there was like four guys in the area and one defender in the way. Another good solid performance there. Uh, a little complacency here. Give him a little bit of yelling. I know a couple of players aren't going to like that, but get the heads in the game for right now. Keep the heads in the game. Okay. See, okay, here we go. Oh, uh, where were we playing? That's the question. Uh, did not say here. Okay. Do, 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 do. As far as look over. Okay. This should tell us if we look at summary. No. I would say. Yeah, does it just say neutral site then? It doesn't say where we're playing. Oh, here we go. Arena Civica Gianna Herrera. It's in Milan, of course. Papers. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm just making sure. I was making sure I wasn't going crazy there and thinking that the name was something different. Alright, cool. Alright, so that we got through two matches here. Got to see a little bit of what's going on with the transfer market. Uh, the new players in our team. They're getting a feel of what's going on. Also showed uh, all the leagues that we got in here and why uh, the game runs so slow because we got done leagues. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for hanging out here for a little bit. Uh, yeah, if you're watching here on Twitch, drop that follow, hit that notification button, come out again. Uh, we'll be back Saturday. Saturday we're going to be doing some Star Traders in the afternoon, and then uh, I think we'll be doing some kind of multiplayer in the evening, or at night, but uh, up in the air a little bit might get changed around. But we'll be doing some Mass Effect on Sunday, and then possibly Monday. I don't know, a lot of stuff's up in the air with the uh, holiday on Monday for us uh, Americans, so... Uh, schedule is going to be a little bit weird, but, but we'll try and and see what we can do. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Then we'll back, be back Tuesday and Thursday with some more of this here. Football manager uh, in the save. So definitely come hang out again. You can follow us on social media. Streams by Star on Twitter. Exclamation point Twitter in the chat. Get you the link. And exclamation point YT. Get you uh, to the YouTube page. You can... Uh, catch up on all the episodes of this and some of our other playthroughs. So uh, definitely check that stuff out and like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff there. Really appreciate that. And there's a link to the Twitch and Twitter in the description of the YouTube video. So definitely uh, check all that stuff out. Thanks again for hanging by, for stopping by, hanging out. It's kind of combining this a little bit in my head. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot. Stay safe out there, everyone. Stay well, and I will see you next time.